Hi, this is Jeff Sloss. I'm in the Zoller Video Lab, and this is our Pivot RL panel. It shares a name with the Pivot and Pivot Pro, but it does not share the logic and technology of the float switches. This is a simple panel, single phase, and I'm just gonna run through the panel and what the main features are. Like any panel, you've got your float inputs. So we have a stop float, start float, and a high float. As you lift those floats, you will get an LED that corresponds with the float. When I lift my start float, I hear my pump kick in, I lower it, and when my stop float goes down, my pump turns off. That's normal operation. In order to demonstrate the high water alarm, I have my stop float and my start float tethered up, and I'm gonna lift the high water, silence the high water. Now the high water goes down, alarm goes away, and then we'll lower our start float. And when I lower my stop float, the pump will turn off. I have my HOA switch right here. So it's in auto right now, which is down. The middle position is off. The upper position is hand, which will turn the pump on. Right below the handoff auto, we have our two fuses, control circuit and alarm circuit. Next to the fuses, we have alarm power LED and a control power LED. So if I were to remove an alarm fuse, you can see that LED goes out. On the other side of the fuses, we have an incoming power fuse that's built into this device here. This is where you would connect your pumps. This is where you would con connect your incoming pump power. On our example here, we have our alarm and control circuits jumpered. Moving up here, we have a buzzer. And in the back, there's a toggle switch out here on the side. That's to silence and to also test. And the two features that we added to this panel, which is the 51354-0002, are included in this little box here. Now the 51354-0001 is the same panel as this, it just doesn't have this box. And what this box has is an hour meter and a cycle counter. The hour meter is also known as an elapsed time meter. So it'll count uh, pump minutes or hours on, on your counter here, like an odometer. Same thing with your, with your cycle count. It'll increment each time the pump runs. Included with the panel, there's of course a wiring diagram, and then also there's a jumper wire in case you need to jumper circuits here or, or float switches. And there's also two spare fuses. So those are the main features of the Pivot RL. This panel's great when you need a, a lower cost, more entry level panel that doesn't have all the features and logic of a Pivot or Pivot Pro. The, I know these are commonly used in uh, septic and effluent situations. And if you want more information about this, please go to zollerpumps.com.